Hey horror fans, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Room 237. Coming at you with another video. Of another zombie review. And I've only got two more after this, so bear with me. And this is yet another remake. And it is 2010's The Crazies. Which at first I didn't know was a remake. I saw it roughly around the time it came out. <laughs> Wasn't until... Shortly after, I realized it was a George Romero film from 1973. I still haven't seen the original Crazies. It's, it's either hard to find or out of print. So I still haven't seen the original Crazies. Sorry. But I do like this movie. And it is a zombie film. It's just kind of weird. Because of all the zombie films I have, besides like Reanimator... This one is very different. And I sort of wonder why this one gets the zombie stamp, but 28 Days Later doesn't. Because in this one, the zombies, you know, they definitely look like zombies. But they don't eat people, flesh, brains, or otherwise. They just coldly and meticulously kill people. You know, they go crazy. Takes place in this small town, this small farming town of Ogden Marsh. Oh, okay. Uh, Ogden Marsh. This small farming town in... I'm not sure where. Pretty much it starts off at this kid's ball game. This guy, who's known as the town drunk, comes onto the field with a shotgun. He's not responsive, and the sheriff, played by a, a Timothy Oliphant, shoots him. <laughs> but he starts thinking things are weird when more and more people are showing signs of, you know, being crazy, not responsive. His wife is played by Rada Mitchell, who was the mother on Silent Hill. You know, like one of her patients is this guy who set his house on fire after locking his wife and son in a closet. The son is Cody from Dexter. And you know, then they sort of find out in the swamp there's this plane that crashed. They think, you know, that might have something to do with it. It's a swamp where all their drinking water comes from. The mayor won't shut the water off because it's harvest season. And then the military gets involved. And it's one of those fear the military movies. You know, they have this big compound where they take the sick over there, the healthy over there. And it's just people trying to survive. This is probably the... I was going to say craziest, but probably the biggest scene that people remember where all these more or less infected people are strapped to these stretchers, one of which is Rod on Mitchell. She's not infected, but she has a high fever because she's pregnant. And this guy comes in with a pitchfork and is just walking up to people, fucking stabbing them. Timothy Oliphant goes back for her and this other girl that she knows that works with her. So it's him, his wife, this other girl, and actually his deputy. And it's them trying to find a way out of the town. They, like there's one part, they cut through a field, they get to her boyfriend's family's house. And this movie does go there with showing like how fucked up the government would probably be like a, a ripping young children from their parents uh, when they're at her boyfriend's farm they're with the boyfriend out in the barn he sees them taking the mother out of the house so he runs out they shoot him the mother runs to him just to him they shoot her and then they just set their bodies aflame So then it's just the four of them 
on the road trying to survive. There is one thing I did get. They go back to their house. And there's this mother and son who's, I mean, the wife and the mother and the son of the town drunk from the beginning. They're at their house. And, you know, the way it worked out was the son has like a corner on Timothy Oliphant's neck. There's a knife through his hand on the floor. He gets free and he goes like this to her neck. He kills her. But it's like, would her blood get in his cut, giving him the infection? I don't know. Helicopters flying around, so they have to hide. They pull into a car wash. There's more crazies. There's this cool scene where, as the car's pulling out of the car wash, one has like a hose, wraps around the girl's throat, so when they're driving, it pulls her out. So when they get off to check on her, the car blows up from the helicopter. So like, there's a lot of convenient scenes like that. Yeah, I know I sound stuffed up. But then, of course, the deputy starts getting a little crazy. Like, they shoot this Tahoe off the road that's like a government one. He talks to him and he's like... Says that... The chemical agent was man-made to help, you know, stabilize the population, but it crashed in the wrong place. The incubation period is two days, so after two days, you're either dead or you don't have it. So just when Timothy Oliphant is like, well, it's day three, now you're going to help us, that's when the deputy shoots him, kind of fucks them. It is kind of a slow burn. I mean, once you get past this and, like, the scene in the barn, it is pretty slow. But I would say it's a well-made remake. I mean, still, I might say that just because I still haven't seen the original. You know, of course, there's the end where they get to the truck stop where the supposed bus full of healthy were going. They find a bunch of sh uh, shells everywhere, and then just a tr smoking truck full of bodies. So they just exterminated everybody. And then kind of like Return of the Living Dead, they just nuke the whole fucking town. They have to outrun the blast in this huge truck. But yeah, I, I thought this was a pretty good movie. It definitely did have its Hollywood elements, you know, like the sort of convenient stuff, like that. Got to give it to the deputy though. He's all he saved the sheriff's life like three times. Yeah, not too much to say about it. Uh, I did think it was good though. I I still don't know how this gets the zombie pass, but twenty eight days later doesn't. Because it is an infection, and they don't eat people, they just coldly kill them. But, yeah, it came out 2010. Definitely one of the better remakes. And I know I'm not alone on that, a lot of people seem to like this movie. It did have plenty of suspense. You know, Marshall fight of Huffington Post will scare the crap out of you. I don't know about that. I'm sure some people it did. But yeah, it, it gets kind of, you know, sort of like when I got to the end of my slasher marathon, it was kind of hard to talk about them because the plots are very similar. Same with zombie movies. It's just a group of people trying to get either from here to there or whatever. But it also adds an emotional element because we're, you know, the, in the beginning it really shows that this is a very small town where everybody knows everybody on like a first name basis and then they have to watch everyone they know die. <clears throat> but uh, I haven't seen too many movies with T Timothy Oliphant. Uh, I liked him in this. I liked Rod Mitchell. I liked the guy that played the deputy. 
Uh, I like the look of the zombies. You know, some of them looked normal. Other ones are pretty advanced and affected. Yeah, actually, the crazies is what the military or the government calls them. Like, is there any crazies down there? After the guy sets his family on fire, he... Timothy Oliphant shows up and they're like... Uh, just, Bill was the only one that made it out. We get here, he's mowing the damn lawn. He's just, like, sitting on a truck, and he just starts, like, whistling. So it made, it did a good job of making them look, like, uh, non-sympathetic and crazy. Did have a, I want to say the word claustrophobic, but that's not what I mean. About how no matter where you go or what you do, you're always being watched. There, there's no. It's almost a suicide mission to go anywhere. <clears throat> but I thought it was well done. Again, not sure how this gets the zombie pass, but twenty days later doesn't. I'll have to make a video about that. But the crazies, I thought it was a pretty good movie. You know, I, I would very much like to have the original someday, but... Yeah, this is one... Another one sort of like Dawn of the Dead that everybody likes. Whether they know it's a remake or not. I don't think most people do. But, yeah, I would like to see George Romero's original. But The Crazies... Uh, a pretty good movie. Uh, I liked it. Not one of my favorite zombie films, but it is one of my favorite remakes. Because most remakes suck. But yeah, not bad. So yeah, I really gotta go blow my nose. <laughs> so for Room 237, thank you for watching.